Hi, Maria Watkins here from the Music Business Made Easy. This week, we're continuing our overview of looking at contracts. All contracts have language unique to it. Now, the key is understanding what those are and negotiating properly. There are some clauses common to most contracts. These include who the agreement involves, the term or length of the initial agreement, including whether or not there will be options to continue the agreement after the initial term, the territory of the agreement, the actual agreement itself, what the parties are agreeing to and how they are explained, how and when the money will be exchanged, including whether or not there will be advances, money paid up front, and how the rest will be paid. There are clauses that explain disagreements and how to handle discrepancies, clauses that spell out the right to audit books, clauses that speak of the party's right to rectify contractual breaches and terms of lawsuits and how they will be handled, clauses that spell out terms of how to terminate an agreement should one or both parties want to get out of it, and then there are disclaimers that state that above any conversation that may have been any prior agreements that may have been stated, that the contract itself that's written will supersede any and all prior conversations. So those are things that most times are uniquely common to most contracts. There are other common terms, but again, it depends on the type contract that you have. Now, there are things to also be careful of, including vague terms, clauses that are not specific. They may state terms, but they can be interpreted too many different ways. You want to look out for things like that. And also you want to look out for clauses that are favorable to one side. When this happens, you need to negotiate favorable terms for both sides. To conclude the tip for today, don't forget that you get what you negotiate or agree on. If you feel that you can do better, work to negotiate for better. Don't just settle and sign before you are thoroughly all right with the terms of the agreement. Sometimes when the odds are not in your favor, you may need to negotiate the best you can for the situation. You may not always get everything you want, but work hard to get the best that you can. Get someone that's qualified to help you do that. A great place to look for an entertainment attorney is with the Volunteer Lawyers for the Arts. In conclusion, friendly reminder, for a limited time, I have a free audio training, especially for songwriters and indie artists releasing your own music, on maximizing your music's financial potential. Don't forget to go to musicbusinessmadeeasy.com to download your free copy now. Take care and have a great day.